welcome to Back the Way Bit. Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration just to show you how easy it is to perform a composite modification on a Sinclair ZX Spectrum 48K. These old systems used to connect to the old analog TV using AV connector, being able to plug your AV plug into this connector here. Now, a quick modification will allow you to change this setting to be able to connect a composite cable to the back of the computer and the plugs are exactly the same so it will slide straight into this connector easily and then the other end will plug straight into the back of your TV and you can always use a composite SCART connector as well if you wanted to connect this plug to a SCART cable to make it more compatible with your current TV. And this modification only really needs to affect the video out. This is because on the ZX Spectrum, the mute, the sound used to come through the internal speaker here. So composite audio out really is not really relevant. Okay, first of all, let's just take off this box here. And apologies here, I'm trying to keep my hands away from the camera as much as possible. It is quite difficult to try and record this at the same time. And there are a couple of different ways to perform this modification. You can just simply send a wire through to this connector here, to the AV connector here, and that will sufficiently do the job. I think you do need to use a soldering iron just to make sure the joints and the wire is connected firmly. The other way is to use a capacitor, and this is just a straightforward capacitor running at 100 UF, 10 volts. And this is the way I'll be doing the modification today. And I think it's a lot easier to do it this way. I think it's a lot safer to do it this way. And also because you're using a capacitor, you've already got the legs on here to do the soldering and the solder the joints as well. So you don't need to attach any other wires to it, which does make the job so much more simpler to do. Right, first thing I need to do is a bit of housekeeping. And I'll try and do this as best I can with the camera angle that I've got. And I do need to remove this wire here. Okay, I don't need this anymore. And this is the, the wire here I'll be replacing. So put that down there. And what I'll do, just quickly cut that. And we'll just neatly move that wire out of the way. I mean, you can just totally take that wire off completely if you want, but sometimes it's best just to keep it there. And then if you do want to move it back to an AV connector, you can quite easily reverse this process. The next thing we need to do is connect, well, is to remove this wire here. We just need to disconnect this from here. And again, we'll just push that out the way. And I think I'm just trying to do this so it's uh, the camera can pick it up. It's not ideal for me doing it myself. Okay, so we get that pushed out the way. And then we just probably need just to clear this up a little bit. So again, with a soldering iron, we can probably just remove some of the solder from this part here. Wasted solder there. Perfect. The next bit is to remove this here. So again, unclip it, and we should be able to take that straight from this joint here and disconnect it. and pull it out completely. And again, we just need to tidy that up there. 
and to remove the solder. I usually use my left hand for soldering usually, so I'm using the wrong hand because I'm, I am left-handed. I'll just clean that up a bit. There we go. Got a nice hole left there. And then what we need is the capacitor here. And usually the long leg here represents the positive and the shorter leg is the negative. Now I have seen this done both way rounds, but I usually put the uh, negative, well, put the negative up to the connector and then use the positive back through this hole here. So first of all, let's just fake, well, feed the negative through the hole that we just created. And that should go straight the way through, okay? And we can probably just make it a little bit tidier here with uh, the pliers. Let's get that wire around. There we are. Okay. There we are. Okay. And then we just need to solder that bit there. And then the other wire, you can just feed it through the other hole. In fact, I should have done that before we soldered it really, just to place it in, but uh, and snug I went off the camera there I was too busy concentrating on what I was doing we turn the board over and we just soldered that into place and cut that off. And that is it. That's all you need to do. You just make sure that's all out of the way, nice and tidy. Put the cap back on. And you're all ready to go. That will now work on a new modern TV under the composite modification or the SCART socket. Right, we'll just give this a quick test and I'll be doing this holding my camera and plugging everything in at the same time. So bear with me. I've got the composite mod connected to the back already and I shall just plug it in and the TV is already ready to go. 
and we'll just get it uh, plugged in and straight in. And there we are. Let's stand back a bit. My dodgy camera skills. <laughs> okay, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the quick demonstration how to composite mod a ZX Spectrum. Anyway, that's it. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>